So in this video, we're going to try to make sense out of quadratic effects. A quadratic effect, if I click on that, allows me to estimate beyond the linear relationship a curvilinear relationship, specifically a quadratic, which is the most common form of curvilinear relationship in regression. So if I click on this one here, for example, it will create a quadratic effect where ethical concerns is the predictor and burnout from management is the outcome. And so it will estimate both the linear beta and the quadratic coefficient. Let's do this. I'm going to run a bootstrap start. And we can see that this nonlinear effect is actually statistically significant at 0.05 alpha level. There's a negative curvilinear relationship, but the linear relationship is also statistically significant. Now, what does this even mean? Like, how, how could we visualize this? I think, if I'm not mistaken, we could actually plot this. Let's see, we have a negative 0.95 and a positive 1.32. If we were to go to Google and just plot this, we could say y equals negative 0.095x squared plus, so that is the, the quadratic coefficient, and now let's get the linear coefficient for x, the beta, 0.132. So we're going to add 0.132x. And then for the intercept, I'm going to ignore the intercept and just treat this as a relative shape. So I'll just hit enter. Google will plot that for me. And it looks like a little bit of ethical concerns starts to be very concerning. And then more becomes extremely concerning. But then once you get to a certain point, more ethical concerns isn't that much more alarming. So there's this curve linear relationship. Remember, this is with regards to the relationship between ethical concerns and burnout. So as ethical concerns initially increase, there is much more burnout. And it gets to this certain peak after which more ethical concerns don't actually increase burnout by the same amount they were previously. So there's this curve linear relationship. Well, that's a quadratic effect. I hope that made some sort of sense. Just to review the formula I put in Google, the x squared coefficient is the curvilinear quadratic effect, and the x coefficient is, as always, just the beta. Of course, I am plotting these with standardized coefficients. I should probably have done that with unstandardized. Let's see if it lets me do that. What if I calculate this not with a bootstrap? and select instead of type of result standardized, give me unstandardized. Hit start. Hey, it gave me those, look at that. Okay, let's try this instead. So that's negative 151 and positive 0.950. This is 0 0.950 and negative 151. Negative 0.151. And that is more or less the same curve we just looked at. So it tells us the same thing because it was all relative. But that's how you'd plot it with the unstandardized effects. Hope that helps.